the youth in the Chinese province, because we're not just China, we're mainland China, Taiwan, Macau, and Hong Kong, right? Four different regions, it's four different cultures we're talking. Um, so I actually have been asked through my friends, asked around about religions and spirituality. One common thing is that youth, young people nowadays are searching. They, they have that type of emptiness, they have that why, what, that, that type of searching. And, but what is happening in the country, in the mass media, in what they read, is not sufficient. So spirituality and religion have something for them. Now, of course, the different individuals appeal to more, some more to spirituality, some more to religion. Those who like religions, they like the, the structure, the liturgy, that will give them the sense of like, you know, certainty or the external support. But some don't like, they just don't like this external thing and this institutional church. So they're looking for spirituality. Spirituality is something to give them the meaning, uh, give them the kind of guidance, wisdom they're looking for. I think most of them, if not all, most of them, they don't like to have things sh shuttle on, on, down their the throat, to, to shove through their throat. They, they like to have like, you know, people who can accompany them, who can inspire them, respect their pace, and when they want to know more, help them to, to look, you know, to search, not exactly always give them answers, but help them to ask. Uh, of course, there are young people who like black and white. If you give everything to them, they'll be happy. But I don't think there's a majority. Majority is accompaniment, uh, respect, affirmation, and yet at the same time, a little bit challenging them to, to think. And, and they like that. And they like to have some kind of wisdom figure to be with them.